The showdown between central agencies and the Trinamool and West Bengal, which is intensifying in the run-up to the Lok Sabha polls. After an anti-terror agency team was attacked during raids, the TMC and the West Bengal police doubled down. While the state police filed a molestation case against the NIA and the CRPF on a complaint by one of the women whose houses were raided, Mamta Banerjee said the NIA team arrived at midnight without informing the police. The NIA defended its action and the Prime Minister said the TMC wants a license to terrorise agencies in the state. This is not the first time the TMC has sparred with central agencies. A similar attack claim was made by the Enforcement Directorate less than three months back. That sparked a big political slugfest in Sandesh Khali. On left, right and centre tonight, we ask, why are central agencies at the centre of the political battle in the all-important West Bengal just days before elections? Before I introduce my guests, take a look at this report by my colleague Saurav Gupta. Regarding this Bhupatinagar issue, there is a strong allegation on behalf of Trinamool Congress that this entire episode is constructed by NIA, both NIA and BJP. This is a result of a conspiracy done by, made by Bharatiya Janata Party and NIA. We want to mention a name that is Mr. D.R. Singh, S.P.N.I.A., Dhan Ram Singh. Madam Mamta Banerjee has already told that some BJP leader went to that person, that SP, and handed over the names of Trinamool Congress. The Trinamool Congress alleging the NIA was acting on the behest of the BJP and picking up Trinamool Congress booth leaders after a BJP leader visited an NIA officer at his home, even after the model code of conduct came into force. The Trinamool Congress's National General Secretary Abhishek Banerjee said it was an alliance between the NIA and the BJP that was orchestrating conspiracies against Trinamool leaders amid the model code of conduct. The Trinamool is demanding an investigation into the role of the officer and is asking for his removal from Bengal immediately as he is involved in political games with the BJP. However, the BJP leader the Trinamool Congress mentioned has denied the charges and threatened legal action against Kunal Ghosh. The development came on a day when the Bhupati Nagar police registered a case under section 154 of the Indian Penal Code against NIA officers on charges of assault of criminal force to woman with intent to outrage her modesty. The NIA on Sunday categorically denied any malified intention in its Bhupati Nagar action. The central agency in a press release added that its team came under an unprovoked violent attack and that it made the arrests following all legal procedures. A Trinamool Congress delegation comprising of State Minister Chandrima Bhattacharya also visited the families of those arrested to ensure its ground level workers don't leave the field ahead of elections. And the Prime Minister and the Chief Minister also faced off on the issue. मध्यरा তাদের বিরুদ্ধে ডাইরি করে দিয়েছে বলছে তিনমুলের সব ভূত এজেন্টদের অ্যারেস্ট করো সব ক্যান্ডিডেটদের অ্যারেস্ট করো साथियों टीएमसी चाहती है कि उसके तोलावाजों को भ्रष्टाचारी नेताओं को आतंक का खुला लाइसेंस मिले इसलिए जब केंद्र की जांच एजेंसियां आती है तो टीएमसी उन पर हमले करती है और उसे करवाती है टीएमसी कानून और संविधान को 
कुचलने वाली पार्टी है आप देखिए संदेश खाली में क्या हुआ ये पूरा देश जान चुका है वहां माताओं बहनों के साथ कितना बड़ा अत्याचार हुआ है ये पूरे देश ने देखा है हालात ये है कि हर मामले में यहां कोर्ट को खुद को दखल देना पड़ता है The Trinamool Congress and the BJP have often faced off over the functioning of central agencies in the state of West Bengal but the Bhupati Nagar incident has once again brought the sharp divisions onto the forefront dragging the premier anti-terror investigation agency into the political rhetoric ahead of elections the NIA is likely to challenge the case filed against its officers before a court but it surely would have liked to avoid being dragged into the political debate over its functioning in the middle of elections in the state in kolkata saurabh gupta and the tv and joining me on left right and center tonight i am being joined by dr shatrupa spokesperson of the bjp also with us uh, is uh, a former dgp vikram singh and shantanu sen of uh, uh, the tmc is also with us thanks very much all of you for joining us on left right and center tonight let me make an exception this time and go to our expert first um, dr vikram singh uh, how do you look at this as a former uh, bureaucrat as a former uh, as somebody who has been in the service how do you look at this scenario where the central agencies are now at the center of this political showdown not just in west bengal but across the country good evening vedant and esteemed panelists uh, i'm a little uncomfortable at what is happening and what has happened in the recent times and ia is a specialized agency it is working under the directives of the court it does not do anything that is knee jerk or whimsical they had court orders to pursue this matter and after repeated summons the two manobrath and belly charan did not appear before the nia what options did the nia have they did inform the local police and by no stretch of imagination is 4:30 am midnight and they had taken precautions also to take the lady police officers of the crpf as well which is on camera the very fact that things were on camera and to have lodge a case against them in respect of molestation it reminds me of what happened in case of hemant soren case when his house was raided he lost a case against the raiding party under the sc st act what happened to sandesh hali is also a grim reminder that what can happen to an agency which is pursuing only what it is its mandate and only the prerogative of the investigating agency okay if there is any complaint of any transgression of rule of law you can always approach the court and complain against the officer but let me tell you the officers in the cbi i and the nia are the best of the best mediocrity has no place in these organizations and let me tell you that they have no business even to take sides what to talk of politics may be the passion of a political friends but nia and cbi non political and i dare say that if you have any complaint take pains to go to the court and you will have the truth in less than 24 hours i can assure you of that okay let because me get dr shatrupa to respond to that because those are important points are making there dr vikram singh um, dr shatrupa your response to that these are premier agencies we are talking about and while of course uh, as dr vikram singh also pointed out there's no place for mediocrity there's no place for partisanship in these agencies but at the same time do you think these agencies have lost their credibility over the years particularly in the past couple of months with opposition parties and opposition leaders being targeted as they say vedant uh, that is entirely the perception of the opposition um, we uh, from the central government uh, the bjp ruling party we have incredible faith in the central agencies because we've been you know i i've been crying myself hoarse saying the same thing over and over again that they the central agencies and and vikram singh and uh, uh, mr vikram singh will uh, second me on this uh that that they work on their own steam we it is they are not politicized by any any party you have to agree that there is a differentiation between party and the government now yes we are ruling uh, the 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 government the central government and it's not because of anybody's sympathy it is because we are an elected party which has been sent to central government we are ruling there 
Central agencies fair point there, Dr. Dr. Shatrupa, fair point. But how would you respond to all these reports? Indian Express recently did an investigation as well, because this is important in the context of West Bengal as well. How would you respond uh, you know, to this pattern, as many point out, that as soon as somebody switches uh, parties, as soon as somebody jumps ship, cases are dropped by central agencies yeah, against them? You know, Vedan, this I think is a very frail logic, what, uh, the, what the opposition keeps saying. Because one has to understand that uh, you have an entire India alliance formed on the basis of this preconception that uh, you know everybody is after them. They are suffering from persecution mania. And as far as changing over to us and dropping the case, that has never happened. The Honorable Home Minister has gone on record in Parliament stating very clearly that if somebody comes, to, we are doors, windows are, you know, hearts are all yes, open. Yes, but you know, so there, if you look at the timeline, you will get, you will find finish. many examples, no, whether it was Mr. Chagan Bujbal, whether no, it is, no, no, you know, no, other no, leaders. Let of... me finish. Please let me finish. Go ahead. I am saying that we allow everybody to join. And whoever joins us, Amit Shahji has very categorically said, the investigation will carry on. It is there. It is the onus is on them. Okay. They will have to clear their record. BJP okay. has got nothing to do with this. So now if these people suffer from a persecution mania and form an India land based on that, and I'm sure Dr. Shantanu Chen will have lots of things to say. I just want to say one more thing. Every time, every single time, the Honorable Chief Minister has instigated general public against these central agencies. After okay. all, the central agencies are purely doing their job. Okay, Your let me get Dr. Shant let me get Mr. Shant to Dr. respond Dr. to that. Dr. Shant's party runs the uh, police doesn't function. We have the chief minister who functions as the police minister. Okay, Shant Nusen, your function. response to that what quickly. What is the NIA supposed to do? Shant Nusen, your response to that quickly because many a times, you know, we, we hear opposition leaders say, let the law take its own course. So when, you know, agencies come knocking on the doors of TMC leaders or other in other such cases, we of course saw the enforcement directorate team was also allegedly attacked. Uh, <coughs> do you think this points to some kind of hooliganism when it comes to, you know, the TMC? Many a times it's also said that the Bengal police is compromised, is acting at the behest of uh, the TMC government there in West Bengal, similar to allegations you make against the central agency. See, Vedanta, if you go through the chronology, you will see that the usage of central agencies since BJP came into power has increased by more than 365%, out of which 95% especially against the opposition political parties. And even after announcement of the poll dates, these raids by central agencies have gone high. And you see, so far, the state of West Bengal is concerned. If you go through the events, which, has hap which have happened in two consecutive ways. One is Sandesh Kali and the other one is this East Midnapur. In both the cases, central agencies, when they are without informing the local police administration, being associated with the media people to create a narrative that the TMC people are creating this unrest, which is absolutely false. These central agencies, they are working at the behest of Bharatiya Janata Party with an intention to create a narrative But in this particular case, you saw that stones were pelted at the NIA vehicle and in fact an official was injured you as tell well. Me, you Every tell me, you tell me, you please allow me to finish me. If you ahead. please allow me to finish me. Go ahead, Mr. Shah. The NIA people, they went to that place at midnight at 4 a.m. If, don't, don't take me otherwise, if, if your, 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 your people, women residing at your residence, if they find that some strangers are coming at around 4 a.m., do you think that they will be welcoming him without informing the local okay. police administration? The police administration got the information at 5.45 a.m. And the local police got the opportunity to visit that place at 6 a.m. After that, the situation came under control. But okay. prior to that, at 4 a.m., these central agencies being associated with the media people, they went there, they harassed the people, they molested the women. That's why there is a case against them also. See, they absolutely so, so, Dr. Shotrupa, your response to that. Motive. Dr. Shotrupa, you, you know, know Dr. because Dr. while Shantanu while you speak about the Sandesh Kali incident, in this case, if there was, you know, a, a molestation angle, as the women, uh, one of the women there has complained as well, uh, you know, is this not selective uh, sort of positioning that you must talk about how, uh, you know, if there's a molestation angle, you must talk about that as well as you did with full force in Sandesh Kali and rightfully so. But then you obviously have no idea of what happened to Sandesh Kali. Here you have one woman who has imagined at four o'clock in the morning. I don't even know. I haven't even seen the FIR, whether at all there has been an FIR. She has imagined at four o'clock in the morning, which 
let me remind you in the rural area people do wake up around 334 i don't know why dr shantanishan would consider and the trinamool would consider 4 4 a.m to be midnight and i mean they're expecting nia to go after their goons i mean if you if you just look at the essence of this case this is a case where an explosion happened in in a house of their okay, but why should you defend the central out. agency dr shatrupa why should you defend finish. the central Let's agency finish. Finish. if there's a molestation angle you should stand up for the complainant nobody in this is case as well anybody. one second let me finish nobody is defending anybody all i am saying is this has gone up they have they have filed a case nia has responded and uh, if nia if, if the person has actually gone and done something to whom and i is quite capable of uh, you know uh, uh, justifying that i'm not saying that but please do not compare what happened uh, with nia's uh, this incident today absolutely to what has happened in chandesh pali there's no Hundreds comparison at all women yes. are saying the same thing so please do not play with the dignity of women on the whims and fancies of ridiculous trinamool netas please don't yes. do this That's you have a reputation this channel has a reputation don't go according to their okay vibe. dr shantanu sen your response to that because you know when it when it came to the sandesh kali incident you know the tmc spoke fairly late i mean for a long time the tmc was silent on it so you know now many would turn around and say that this is double standards on your part as well kindly allow me to finish it. number 1 kindly allow me to finish number 1 dr shantanu sen shantanu sen make his point my yeah, question ahead. to madam shatrupa why it is red after one and half years of the incident as the incident took place in 2020 2022 why the it is red let's not let's not indulge in what about it dr shantanu said if you can respond to this particular question so for the sandesh kali issue is concerned yes you know there was a bar imposed by court once the bar has been replaced bar has been has been removed we said within 10 days six sajan will be arrested instead of 10 days within 72 hours the six sajan was arrested though he was associated with trinamool congress can madam shatrupa cite a single That... example where accused bjp leader can be arrested under by the bjp ruled administration in any bjp rule state they cannot there respond? lies the beauty of the trinamool congress government Okay, uh, Dr. Shatrupa, ten second response uh, from you, and then I'll go to Dr. Vikram Singh. Go ahead. Yeah, I do not expect such uh, this kind of an un uneducated comment from an educated person like yeah. Dr. Shantanu Sen. I am being very clear about. You no, know, he's gone offline now. I'm being very clear about this. We are not justifying anything. What has happened in, in, at Shandesh Pali is completely different from okay. what happened at NIA. NIA's inquiry is happening now because one and a half years. these uh, the court of uh, court had directed the police to take action police took no action it okay. is not the nis fault okay, the last thugs last word to you dr vikram singh last word to you dr vikram singh uh, you know uh, how do we restore the credibility of central agencies because you know across the board you have opposition <laughs> leaders uh, social you know commentators criticizing central agencies for going after opposition leaders all the allegations level have to be investigated molestation of women whether genuine or false they have to be investigated because modesty of women is a matter that is non negotiable but they have to be investigated i can tell you from my experience not 99% but almost 100% such cases are false fabricated and maliciously what they are known as pesh bandi i am not an aggressor i am an investigator the moment i go just to conceal the criminality of the case you right. lodge false fiars it happened in the case of hemant soren who lodged okay. scst act case in this case also and the police it is common cases were registered against me and my officers also right. many times but all of them were expunged therefore this need to but investigated yes so that there is zero tolerance to in case of any transgression so, of rule of law so let the investigation and the law take its own course thanks very much for joining us so all of you on left right and center tonight of course uh, you know while uh, we we all do understand that the law must take its own course the timing of course will be questioned right ahead of the polls